Damn. So I've just broken my T40 Torx here. I need a higher okay. quality one. Cheap, uh, cheap tools. Yeah, that's the point. Okay, so today we're going to be taking off the transmission um, to get at the flywheel and pressure plate even though we don't need it. We have a new one up there, um, but we're going to take off the transmission. It's an E14, an E20, and I think this is an E8 or an E10, and there's a few other E10s down there that we need to take off. We need to transfer this bracket, bracketry over for the oil uh, sensor and the bracket for holding the um, oxygen sensors. So you have to break these by hand. Let's jack this up. Young. That's good. I don't think my GoPro is actually playing. I also want to send a picture to the guy I bought the engine from. That's an interesting bolt. Because uh, I told him, hey, is the engine good? He says, I don't know. And I was like, you know. You know it's broken. I'll give you this much. And he was like, okay. Oh, yeah? I said, it needs to be rebuilt, doesn't it? Yeah. I said, okay. So, he, uh, I think he did a compression test, mm -hmm. and he knew that cylinder six was bad. Mm -hmm. And I didn't care because I was going to rebuild it anyway. Mm -hmm. And it was a bad valve. C'est parti. Oh, it goes already. Yeah, yeah. And then we need the big one. This one was on the left. And then should lift it up a bit more and then we can put it together, you know? Oh I forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's leaning? Leaning on? Left side. Parfait. It's a lot of clutch there. I clean it outside. Oh shit, this is heavy. Okay. Yay! That wasn't hard. Just all the pressure was on that one bolt. Uh -huh. 
Huh? Oops, sorry, bolt. I'm surprised it didn't break. <laughs> this just looks like clutch. I thought it was maybe leaking a rear main seal, but it's not. It's just a clutch, I think. Literally, this just comes off. This is the bearing. I mean, it's not making any noise. I'm gonna go get the new one. I mean, this one still feels good. What's that stuff? Maybe I just clean this one up and reuse it. It feels fine. Just put the best stuff you can. No, this is 60 bucks. But you won't do it twice, you know? Yeah. But this was like, look, at the grease is on it. Somebody had this out at some point. It feels brand new. I should have waited to, uh, y'a pas de différence. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just sell this one used on eBay, yeah? Those are locked tight in there. So this looks all good. The seal looks good, so I'm just gonna put this back together. We put some Loctite, it's a bit too much. Put some Loctite on the screws, put this back on.
back in. All right, so I'm gonna try and summarize this for you guys uh, on how to put the flywheel and clutch back together. So first you need to do is you have this little plate that you install. There's four uh, small hex bolts. I don't know what, what size they were. Uh, but then there, it, on the flywheel, there's a dowel pin. Just make sure you line that dowel pin up uh, with the flywheel, and it kind of sticks on there. Careful it doesn't fall. The flywheel is really heavy. And then put in your uh, bolts for the flywheel. I kind of tapped mine on there just to make sure that it was on the shaft uh, properly. Also, actually, before you do that, you should check the inner... You should also check that there's a tiny bearing that goes in there and you should make sure that that has been replaced. It's in the middle. It's it's the transmission shaft bearing. It rides on that. Um, mine was new, so it was all good to go. Then you want to place the a timing pin for the crankshaft on it. I put a little mark on the flywheel. You see that little white line there to make sure that the flywheel, I can see where I'm supposed to be turning the flywheel to insert the timing pin. I have a full video on how to time the engine if you want to watch that. I'll link it in the description. And then we have to torque this down to 120 Newton meters. So let's see. If this actually locks in place. This is the new clutch. It's a LUK clutch, um, 3230637010. Um, maybe I should double check to make sure that this will work. <laughs> because normally there are some springs in here. The springs are there. But it looks good. You can tell how much wear there is by measuring the depth um, towards the rivets. This looks to be in pretty good shape. I'm just going to clean it up. And we'll put it on with our clutch alignment tool. It's just $20 on eBay. So you need to face the clutch up. This says Getriebseite, which means transmission side. So I think it moves, sets down that way. I don't think it would fit the other way anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't fit the other way anyway. So transmission side, how's this go on? There are three dowel pins. So I'm assuming that's one, two, three.
40 Torx. Do you need to go to tomb or anything? Hmm? Tomb? No, if you need to, we can go. Actually, I do need something. This is... This is sort of broken. I need to Google and see if tomb has what I need first. I need a T40 Torx. My car is down. You can go. Where's your car? No car. I'm going to go. Damn. So I've just broken my T40 Torx here. I need a higher okay. quality one. Let's go. Several days later. Mais maintenant c'est plus facile un peu. Attends, 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 attends. On peut mettre la... ça sur le bois là Non Bon, c'est presque là. Attends. Je fais ça encore. Moi je peux la, je peux la porter toute seule, tu crois Attends, attends. have to get the angle right and then if you lift from here if you lift with me mm -hmm. then we'll we'll just lift it up and we have to wiggle it like this yeah. and then it will go on and then we can tighten in the bolts okay you have gloves for me or no oh, it's fine it's fine okay let's go i take that uh, wait you want to lift it up and yeah. then you put the first one right yeah but we have to oh shit And if I can, if I do it myself, if I just lift it myself at the right level, it it'll be it'll be heavy. But you manage to do it yourself, so it means I can I can lift it myself. Because if we are in two, we don't know where to go, right? But we want to just shift it a bit. I have the angle correct. Mm -hmm. We just need to find the hole, and and this will line up with here. You don't think it's better to to try to put it like more or less horizontally, and I just like try to come. Horizontally. I mean, it's pretty much there. This is this is the angle we want to be. Alors attends, qu'est-ce que je fais moi? To you just push that way. Okay. Bon. Push that way. Yeah. Hold it in place. Wait, wait. Let me find a safe spot. Screw your engine. Attends. Ouh, c'est heavy. Tu vois, tu vas 
quelque chose à faire un match. On y est presque. The angle is right. Ben, moi je pense que toi là t'as pas assez de hauteur, hein. t'es comme ça là. Tu quoi ben, oui. Ton moteur il est déjà. Ouais, non, ouais, toi t'es très bon, t'es pas mal. C'est où est mon... Où sont mes trucs là 